Recently, I worked with a large food ingredient company. They had a dust control situation they needed us to address. It was a large, older plant with lots of square footage. It had large silos and varied surfaces from brick to steel, concrete, and the surfaces were old and pitted. The safety manager was concerned about the dust hazard, so he called us in to evaluate his entire process and make recommendations. This was definitely a challenge we were up to, and we were ready to tackle this problem right away. We completed a plant survey, and we turned it over to our in-house engineer. He came up with a plan of action. He recommended that we go with our intrinsically safe pneumatic vacuums, which was the A17 and the A15. The two separate sides of the vacuums were required based on where they were going. There were some very tight spaces where the larger A17 just wasn't going to work. So the A17s went to the, the opened areas and the A15 were ones that went up on catwalks and in areas where they just wouldn't be able to move the larger vacuum around. The facility was an older facility but had extremely good air, lots of compressed air. But the areas that they needed to have cleaned, it wasn't desirable or we didn't have access to electricity, so pneumatic vacuums were the choice. Our plan made sense to the safety manager, but it got bogged down based on the fact that we were asking this facility that's been around for so long to change its philosophy from bottom to top and change the way it's done its cleaning. What ended up happening was something sort of sad happened and there was an explosion in Georgia at a sugar facility. The demo then got pushed to the forefront because 60 Minutes also ran a piece on it and suddenly Dust Hazard was on the forefront of everybody's mind at that point. What wound up happening was they went along with a recommendation and they purchased two A17 EXPs and two A15 EXPs. And we also provided them with training, which was the most important part of the solution. We needed to show the employees of this facility that these vacuums were put into place to make their lives safer. We want to make sure that the people go home at the end of their shift. The net result of this is we found ourselves a very valuable customer and the safety manager began talking to the safety managers at the other plants and they all began adopting the same policy. And I think out of, I think there's five facilities in the United States, and I think out of five facilities, we have just about all of them using our equipment. 